Two years sounds like a long time. In some ways it is, in other ways it isn't. I can see myself getting to the end of this and thinking, wait, it's been two years already? But a lot can happen in that time, and there's no way of knowing how it's all gonna play out. I don't even know how this sentence will end, because I plan on auto-generating the last... Survey. Which is oddly what my last video was about. Here's a question. How long do you think it's been since I started this, as of right now? If you said 100 days, you would be right. It really is zooming by. So maybe I should slow it down and take a moment to reflect. I've been thinking about what the purpose of this video is. And after much deliberation, careful analysis, and critical thinking, I've come to the conclusion that your guess is as good as mine. Who needs a grand plan anyway? There might be a message in here somewhere, but I don't think it matters either way. The journey... ...is more important than the destination. Something along those lines. Hopefully I don't have to cut that piano cover of Don't Stop Believin'. It was basically the whole point of that sentence. But things don't always go the way you want. And sometimes you just have to accept it and move on. The key word there is sometimes. If something goes wrong and there's a way to fix it, might as well give it a shot. Just make sure you know when to quit. But I'll tell you what I don't plan on quitting. This video. Even if I miss a day, which I haven't yet, but if I do, I'm not gonna flush months of videos down the drain because of one mistake. Either way, no hiccups yet, and I plan on keeping it that way. Of course, you can't always avoid these things. Much like the unavoidable forward movement of time leading us closer and closer to... The next sandwich. I could have said something morbid just then, but you know, there's more to life than death. There's also more to life than sandwiches. Despite what my usernames imply. So why did I mention sandwiches instead of death when there's more to life than both? Well, to give it a little twist and keep it lighthearted. Anyway, I'm waffling, so let's talk about something truly meaningful. I know that goes against what I just said, and this is a one-way conversation, but... That doesn't mean we can't get deep. That said, I don't think I had anything deep in mind. And now I'm just waffling even more. Which is fine, because it feels on theme for the video. But it makes you wonder. Does it actually matter what I say in this little film project of mine? Probably not. But also, yes, to some extent. I doubt you want to see me blather on about triangles or talk smack about your mother. So I guess I'll say whatever non-boring, inoffensive thoughts my brain conjures up until the end is nigh. Not the end of the world, just the specific two-year period. Well, I suppose they could coincide, but that's about as likely as me coming up with a good comparison. I've got a competition coming up. I'll tell you how I did after I compete in about two seconds. It went pretty poorly. But it's all good. You win some, you lose some. I'm not sure if that mindset is conducive to success, but I think it's nice to not be devastated every time you lose. Obviously that's situational, and I'd probably be a lot more upset if I was a professional athlete who underperformed at the Olympics. All about perspective, I guess. Anyway, turns out I spent long enough on this tidbit that I have another competition in 3, 2, 1. Well, that was better. But I should start wrapping things up, because that finish line is fast approaching. So, how to do this? I could try to summarize everything with the perfect metaphor. Or ponder the journey I've undertaken. Nah, I think it'd be more fitting to end things on a casual note. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And, wait, it's been two years already? Hmm. Well, I guess that's it. So, goodbye, for now.